Pour me a cup, will you, Zoe? Tell me you've just got up. What if I have? It's nine o'clock. You should have been at the wool pack over an hour ago. Well, if you hadn't woken me up in the middle of the night, then I would have been. I got pulled out. It was an emergency. We had a hell of a racket. I'm sorry. I should have just stayed in bed and let the calf die. How do we know that's what you were really doing? What else do you think I was doing? You could have been hatching another secret land deal. Oh, very funny, Chris. And what are you smiling at? Well, let's face it, it's pretty funny. Zoe Tate, the bunny rabbit's friend, turning into a backstabbing land grabber. <laughs> oh, don't encourage him. You'll be wearing red braces next. <laughs> do you like women in braces, Frankie? I don't reckon they do much for Zoe. Oh, shut up, a pair of you. Word with you. Why don't you go and make yourself a coffee? I'll be with you in a few minutes. I didn't appreciate your cheap remarks this morning. You know perfectly well I was on call last night. My, we are touchy, aren't we? With good reason. I don't see why I should be the butt of your sarcasm for doing my job. Oh, especially not in front of your girlfriend. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, that's what's really got to you, isn't it? It wasn't just me laughing at you, it was Frankie as well. You can't take it, can you? I bought the Wiley farm from under your nose and you just have to lash out in any way you can. Yeah, that'll be good practice for you. What? Well, if you're going to start playing dirty, you'd better expect a few knocks. Oh, spare me the macho posturing. I'm not just talking about me dishing it out. No, you go too far on your power trip and Frankie might get fed up and leave. 